out of your damn little pea-sized mind. What is wrong with you? Do you have any sense at all? Okay. Do you have any idea better than you did the day before? That's and I think awesome. there's no possible way right. he can right. top that. Okay. But what do you do? You find a way, damn it, to top it. Sega is pulling a rock star as on May 20th they are removing Sonic the Hedgehog 1, Sonic 2, Sonic 3, Knuckles, and CD. So here's what the press release says. Sega announced today that the company will delist the digital version of the standalone titles that will be featured in the upcoming games on the Origins on May 20th. It will include 1, 2, 3, and Knuckles and CD. There are a couple exceptions though, like like Sega Ages versions of Sonic 1 and 2 will remain on Nintendo Switch, and Sonic the Hedgehog 2 will still be playable via Sega Genesis on Nintendo Switch Online Plus. So here we go again with another controversy surrounding surrounding this collection that seemingly has some good things behind it, like the fact that you know Sonic 3 Knuckles will be widescreen for the very first time, the fact that it's getting essentially it's getting kind of getting the the treatment that Sonic 1, 2, and CD did, but I can already tell you why they they're trying to stronghold you into buying the collection, considering that the games have already been re-released so many freaking times. Especially, you know, Sonic 1 and 2, especially, so... So I'm like... Oh, Sega, Sega, Sega. Like, you just continue to screw up, making piss-poor decisions with this collection, aren't you? Let's see, first there was the pricing. The digital deluxe d version debacle. Then there was DRM with De novo on, on the PC version. So it seems like you're kind of... It seems, I don't know, it seems like you're targeting... Possibly those ROM hacks, like Sonic 3, um, A Angel Island Revisited is the full name of it. And there's also Sonic That Chuck 3 Complete. I mean, you look at that gameplay of Sonic 3 AIR right now, so... So what, by, you think by removing these, so you could, you're kind of, like, putting a stomp to this, basically? So it seems it's targeting specifically Steam and the Xbox 360 PS3 versions of the games. So... I already own two and CD on my Xbox already, so and I own the uh, collection that they did with, with you know Sonic One through and Three on for the original DS version, but that's not the point. So it, I would be pretty nervous r right about now, considering that this could be another GTA trilogy disaster. But I gotta hope not. And from at least on the surface, it doesn't, considering that there's a, seemingly like. You know, the teams that are behind the, the, the ports themselves seemingly know what they're doing considering that they made Sonic Mania that came out five years ago. So, so it doesn't seem the like the ports will be a disaster, but, but man, like Sega, you're really making it hard for people to support this thing. So, which suck, kind of sucks because there's some really good stuff in here. You know, seemingly like with the animated cutscenes that connect all the games and whatnot, among other things, so... And they're saying that there's still more to come, I guess, from this collection, so whatever that is, we'll see, but yeah, yeah, it's going to be a, ooh, so I, you better hope for your sake, Sega, that the collection is actually good in terms of, like, the actual, you know, playing the games and whatnot, but because, yeah, right now, it's not looking too good, and you're destroying all the goodwill you've gotten recently, so... So I guess, what do you guys think of this news? Like, does it bother you for sake of the game preservation, or do you just not care? Let me know down in the comment section below if you would please hit that like button on your way out, and consider subscribing to the channel so you do not miss out any more content. And I'll see you all in the next video. Until then, see you later.